Hi and welcome to this tute. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own images in Fireworks. First, let's open it up. It's in the Adobe CS5 Master Collection, Fireworks. This is your welcome screen. Now what you can do is you can start a new document or you can open any picture file on your computer. Let's start a new document. It asks you what width and what height you want. Don't worry about that so much because you can change it later. It also asks you the uh, canvas color you want and we've chosen white. But again, you can change that later. So none of this really matters too much at this stage. Here's our canvas. Now, let's go to the internet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna print this map and put that onto our canvas using our print screen button. Now that I've printed the screen, I'm going to go back to Fireworks and paste. Okay, that's right click and paste or just Control V. I'll click Don't Resample. And what you can see there is that I've just held Control and scrolled out, by the way. Okay, scroll down and hold your Control key or zoom out scroll up and hold your control key will zoom in so I've pasted that image onto my canvas but you can see that the outline of the image is extending beyond the canvas so the image is bigger than the canvas so by default my select tool is selected so if I just click somewhere outside this image I'll see three buttons down the bottom of my screen if I press fit canvas the canvas will now enlarge to encompass the whole image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to introduce you to the crop tool up here. And I'm going to select a portion of my image that I want to keep. And I'm going to double click in the middle of that and my canvas will be resized to only include everything within this frame. Now, I'm going to hold control and scroll up a little bit. I now want to point out that this here is room 5. So I'm going to create, using the rectangle tool, I'm going to create a rectangle and I'm going to select, this is the fill color down here. I'm going to select white as the fill color and I'm going to say I don't want any line. This one with the red cross through it means no line. And I'm just going to make a box down here. White box. Then I'm going to go up and add some text using the text tool. And now the size of that text is a bit big at the minute. I'm going to drag it down to about something like that. I'm going to make a rectangle and type in room 5. That might be slightly too big still so I'll select it and bring it down to maybe about 30. That's fine. With my select tool again I can just move it exactly where I want it. can bring it right over here or down there. Next tool I'll teach you is the line tool so click on that choose your color at the minute we had no color so I'm going to change that to red and I'm going to change the width to maybe 10 and I'm going to draw an arrow from this box to the room okay I might resize that down to 5 and I'm going to draw two more lines to make an arrow out of this. So that's a very quick introduction. There's a whole bunch of tools over here that you can explore because Fireworks can really do some amazing stuff. Now we're just going to save our image. So File, Save, or Control S. And think about when you save what file type you want at the minute it's a PNG now the good thing about saving as a PNG is that when you reopen it you can actually move all these elements about you can move the room 5 you can move the arrow but the downside is that it's um, not as easily recognizable and it's a bigger file size the most common 
file is a JPEG so if you go to file and choose save as you can choose to save as a whole bunch of different things JPEGs for beginners that's probably your best bet what you will lose is you will lose the ability to move all this stuff around okay because it's flattening the image it's making this all one layer so you can't reopen it once you've saved it as a JPEG and move the room 5 and move the arrow but uh, it's a file that will open on any computer with any program probably the easiest way to go for someone just learning so I'm going to call it map and save and I'm done